Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. It's been five weeks since I last visited with you. And as you know, both my parents passed away just six days apart. It really has been extremely difficult, and even more so to put into words. But in spite of their sudden loss, my heart is filled with a profound gratitude through all of this. And that's what I want to share with you today. Paul opens up his second letter to Timothy and says to his brother in the Lord, brother in faith, I am grateful for God, whom I worship with clear conscience as my ancestors did, when I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. You know, my friends, I am grateful to God all the folks that have stood with me and my family during this time of grief. I thank God so very much for the loving parents who through their example and sacrifice gave me so much. Yes, I will profoundly miss them. But you know what? I give God thanks for all that they taught me and all that they shared with me. And I pray that the very best of both of them will live on in me. You know, I thank God for the loving support of my wife, who has encouraged me through the toughest days and has offered her presence. You know, there's something I can share with you. Your presence is a tremendous gift to someone who is grieving. You don't have to really say anything or do anything but being there means so very much. I thank God for my loving sister, Terry, and her husband, Bill. We spent a lot of time together cleaning out my parents' apartment and attending to their affairs. You know what? In times like this, having family, being together, and being able to mutually support one another through times like this, it means so much. I thank God for Pastor Marie Buffalo and Pastor Troy Howe, who has provided tremendous pastoral support and services for our parents. I thank God for all the cards, calls, and prayers from our congregations, friends, and family that span many decades. It's interesting how death has a way of reconnecting us with folks from our past. And it's been really interesting as they have shared memories of days gone by. I thank God for flowers and meals. The flowers brightened our spirits and the meals fed our tired bodies. I thank God for the amazing staff and leaders of Wesley Church and Derry Presbyterian Church who stepped in that Terry and I both could have space to grieve, to care for ourselves and each other. That meant so much to us during these past weeks. You see, in spite of our loss, God has surrounded us with communities of love until our aching hearts could begin the process of healing and be filled with gratitude. It once again affirms for me Paul's words in Romans 8, 28. We know that all things work together for good, for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. God's love and care came through so many people. And I and my family are profoundly grateful. And so my friends, if I can be grateful at a time like this, I think it's a reminder to each of, each of us, myself included, then no matter our circumstances, look around, see how God is caring for us, see how God is providing for us, see how God is present with us, and be grateful and give thanks. Amen. Now, I don't typically have this many announcements, but there are many things that I need to share with you about Wesley Church and things that are coming up uh, in literally the next days uh, and weeks. So let me share, with, share them with you very carefully. Our executive team, after uh, prayerful deliberation, decided to resume in-person worship 
this Sunday, I, I'm going to be really happy to see you return uh, into our sanctuary. So on Palm Sunday this week, um, we're going to be uh, opening our doors and welcoming you back. Um, we will ask you to make a reservation. You can contact the church office by telephone or email and let us know uh, your uh, intention to attend. If you do come, uh, we ask that you wear a mask and practice social distancing. If you're not yet ready to uh, return in person, we do understand, and we will continue to live stream our services both on Facebook and YouTube each week. Sunday also begins Holy Week, and we have many meaningful services uh, that are being planned for you. Let me tell you a little bit about each one of them. Uh, on Thursday, April 1st, uh, we is Holy Thursday. Uh, and that service will include Holy Communion, and that service will be held in the sanctuary at 7 p.m. It also will be live streamed. April 2nd uh, is Good Friday, and um, this year we're going to do something a little different. We're going to provide a special short, short service uh, pre-recorded uh, that will be online on both Facebook and YouTube. And we'll make sure that it posts at 7 a.m. in the morning so that you can watch it uh, whatever time uh, will be best for you uh, on that day. And we'll be focusing on the Stations of the Cross. So on Good Friday, that will be on online uh, service. April 4th is Easter. And because we want to accommodate as many folks as possible, we're going to hold uh, weather permitting both services uh, outdoors. The sunrise service will begin at 7 a.m., and will feature a monologue by Mary Magdalene. Our regular service then will be again at 9 a.m., uh, and this service will be live streamed. Uh, please uh, bring your own chair. Uh, due to wanting to accommodate as many people as possible, if the weather is inclement, uh, we'll meet uh, in the uh, NPR, the, uh, the gymnasium downstairs. Wesley Preschool is now enrolling students for the 2021-2022 school year. Classes are available for children ages one and a half years old through pre-kindergarten. Uh, these classes are designed to meet the needs of a child during each stages of their formative years. For more information or an application, contact the church office or go to our website at www.wesleyum.org forward slash preschool. Well, my friends, it has been good to visit with you. I've missed you and uh, glad to be back with you today. Let's close our time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, the lesson I've learned these past weeks is that in our most challenging times, there is still much to be grateful for. Help us to see how you provide for us and to remember to give thanks in all circumstances. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.